Ready? Spaghetti? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to train? If you guys are watching this video, that means either you just brought home a new puppy or you plan to bring home a puppy soon. Today's video is going to be all about how to train your puppy and what you should be training first. My name is Desiree from Kika's Click High and this is River. Let's get ready to train. Today I have three items that you should be focusing on before you move on to any other training. Here at Kika's Click High, we take every opportunity to train our puppies during mealtime. And this is a puppy. Most puppies, at least for Alaskan Click High, are five pounds or under whenever you bring them home at eight weeks old. And so you do not want to overstuff them with a bunch of treats. Oh, that's a good, oh, that's a good sit. That's a good sit. And so the best opportunity is to feed them while you are training. So I get asked a lot, what should we be working on first when we bring home a new puppy? Um, thank you. You need to sit, buddy. And so I wanted to go over those things because yes, it's super cute to have your puppy doing all these tricks. However, if your puppy isn't well behaved and doesn't know their manners, then you probably don't want to have them doing all kinds of other tricks because it's going to encourage your puppy to jump or twirl or do all of these other things when they haven't actually learned the basics. Number one, your puppy does not know its name. So it is important that I constantly use his name whenever I'm calling him, when I want his attention, when I want him to look at me so that he can associate that name with me wanting him to look up at me. No. So you want to have your food and you want to say river, river. And when he looks at you, like he's looking at me, river, you're going to reward. Right now, this seems very, very basic. And why are we feeding him every time we call his name and he's giving us attention? There's a really good reason for this. For one, we want him to learn his name. But for two, when we are working with him in training or in a situation where we need him to stop, not get into something, not run across the street, stop jumping. If we always teach him to look at us, then we are going to grab his attention much quicker. It's river and reward. Okay, you're going to do that multiple times a day. So river, food. And whenever they don't respond to that name because he doesn't know what that means yet, you can whistle, you can tap your leg, you can do whatever you need to to encourage him to come to you. And when he does, river, obviously I don't want to encourage him jumping up on me, then I'm going to give him his treat. So you're now working on associating the name that you're calling him with looking at you. So giving you that eye contact. River, river. In order for you to really get him to start looking at you, you're not going to just be handing it to him every time you call his name. So now you're going river and as he's looking at you and you can put the treat as close to your face as you can, right? So that he's looking at the treat. He's really not looking at you. So now you're associating this eye contact. So it's river and then it's going to be the reward. So now we are going to work on sit. So this is the luring part. I'm getting his attention. He knows I have this in my hand. I am using my thumb in between my fingers. He can smell it, but he cannot get it. Why can't he get it? Because I have my palm down. So if I have my palm down, he can't get it, but yet he can smell it. And then when he does what I'm asking him to, I am going to release my thumb so that he can get the food. I, I don't want to encourage him to jump, so I'm pulling back. Once you're getting him into that motion, you're going to say, sit, yes, and give him the treat. You have to do it in a very specific order. So first it is train, okay? See that? Train. I don't even have a treat in my hand. You're going to train by teaching him the motion, say the word, and then reward. River. So why do we want him to know his name? Here I am trying to call him to get his attention so that I can work with him. So it's River. He's looking at me, so I don't have to worry about that. He's really looking at the tree, but that's okay. Sit. Yes. Good boy. River. 
This is luring, so I'm getting him over here. One of the reasons I tell you guys to put a leash on them so that you can kind of control. You're just telling him which direction you want. You're not forcing it. So he should now know his name. Give him your attention. So he's going to look at us, give us eye contact, and then he's going to do what we're asking him to do. Come, River. Now, you can see how quickly he's already starting to lose interest in all of this. And so if this happens, you need to take a break. If he's tired, maybe he has to go potty, that type of thing. So you wanna make sure that he's staying um, interested and engaged. You will start to gauge how long your sessions should be because you're gonna be able to tell right away that, oh, he's not interested anymore, he's too tired, um, he's bored of the food. If you feel like he still could continue with his training, you can mix it up and give him something else. That is what you are going to continue to do at least three times a day um, for a good week. You're gonna slowly add in other things, but the first three things, you wanna teach him his name, you wanna teach him to look at you and give eye contact, and you want to teach him to sit. Once you've taught them to sit, then you could teach them a bunch of other things. Down is usually, once they learn sit, then they're gonna go down. If you teach them to sit first, especially you're walking, you take them to the restaurant, you're sitting outside, what is the first thing you're gonna want them to do? You don't want them jumping on people, you want them to sit and be a good boy, you want them to look at you, give you eye contact. So that is the order we want to train in. Good boy, that's a very good boy. A tired dog is a good dog. And if you don't know, we go live every Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific time where we have our puppies in the room. We work on answering some of your questions. We do training sessions, tips and tricks. It's just a lot of fun. We have a great community of Alaskan Klee Kai owners and just puppy owners all around the world. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the video over here or the video over here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And my name is Desiree. Thank you so much for joining us today. And until next time, bye.